And good morning again. The ambassador from Mexico is in New York this morning, Arturo Sarukan. Mr. Ambassador, thank you so much for joining us. The uh, president goes to Mexico this week at a time when the Mexican government is fighting these drug cartels. Um, nearly 7,000 people killed in the violence down there last year. Uh, number one, uh, what do you want from the United States uh, on this front? And what will your president be telling uh, President Obama when he gets there? First of all, Bob, that uh, as most things in life, you need to, to tango. And as Mexico seeks to shut down the flow of drugs coming into the United States from, uh, from Mexico, from South America, we need the support of the United States to shut down the flow of weapons and bulk cash. I think that it is very clear that President Obama has been seized by the importance of the bilateral relationship since even before his administration kicked off. Uh, the flurry of visits by Secretary Clinton, Secretary Napolitano, Attorney General Holder, down to Mexico in the previous weeks, so I think have started to push the ball in the right direction. I think the key issue right now is how can the United States help to shut down those guns and shut down that bulk cash that is providing uh, the drug syndicates in Mexico with a wherewithal to corrupt, to bribe, to kill. Is it still safe for Americans to go to Mexico, especially to the border towns? I know in Juarez, for example, uh, the number of killings there is just uh, astounding. What would you advise Americans who might want to go to Mexico? Well, I, th I think that if you go to Juarez, I would certainly advise precaution. I think that this is one of the places where we are uh, pushing these guys back. We're shutting them down there. And this is a place where we have seen a high concentration of drug-related violence. Um, Almost 70% of all drug-related deaths in Mexico these past two years are concentrated in three places, Culiacán, Tijuana, and Ciudad Juárez. Uh, but if you go to the rest of the country, you will find a country that is at peace. Um, all tourists uh, that have been going down these past months can certify that this is so. So, yes, if you go to a place like uh, Ciudad Juárez, I think that precaution is necessary. But violence is not prevalent in all of Mexico's territory. Mr. Ambassador, what if uh, marijuana were legalized? Would that change, to, uh, change this situation? This is a very divisive uh, issue. Um, there are proponents and opponents on both sides of the border. Um, I think that uh, those who would suggest that some of these measures be looked at understand the dynamics of the drug trade, that you have to uh, bring uh, demand down and that one way that you could do it is by moving that direction but there are many others who believe that by doing this you would only fan the flames this is a debate that needs to be taken seriously that has to be uh, that we have to engage in on both sides of the border both in producing in trafficking and in consumption countries and it is a debate that has to be uh, taken on with seriousness Mr. Ambassador, thank you for being with us this morning. A very serious subject. Uh, this will be a very important subject, uh, obviously, in your country. Thank you so much for uh, bringing us uh, your point of view on it this morning.